Hey, hey, this is Carmen Marie with the new Happy Me and Project Blog to Heal, here with video number nine of the series I Deserve Love. Today's message is particularly for moms and dads, and especially if you are a single mom or a single dad. So basically, uh, as you may know, I'm a single mom myself, and I have been for the last 10 years. And this has been a massive learning experience for me because I didn't realize how much I deserve love. The concept was important for me in order to be the better mom that my my children needed. I didn't make the connection back then. But basically what was happening was that I wasn't taking care of myself. I had basically put myself on to the side on the back burner. And I spoke about this on my radio show a few days ago. Um, and, you know, it, it kind of reminded me of all the stories, all the struggles that I went through because I didn't understand this concept. And that's why I decided to talk to you about this. So I put myself uh, on a side burner, uh, on the back burner. And um, my focus was really my number one priority providing for my children. Uh, we had to find a, st a place to stay because we were selling the house. Uh, I had no money. My job couldn't provide for all the responsibilities and the debt that had fallen as a burden on my shoulders. Uh, I had practically no time to take care of all the chores, the tasks, the responsibilities inherent to owning a home and having two children. And so I was, it was a juggling act. And with all that energy and that time being put into managing my family, I had absolutely no time and no energy for myself, or so I thought. It was a very limited and rare, precious resource. I was putting all of that into providing for my children because I really thought that my number one priority was them. And so you may be feeling that whether you are a parent or a caregiver of any kind, you are probably giving of yourself because you need to give to the person you love or to the individuals you love, your family. And so because you are not giving to yourself, you are basically telling yourself that you are not deserving of that precious resource, but you are. The reality is you are. And the reason why I say this as well is because um, it is very important for you to realize that if you do not give yourself that bit of energy and time that you do deserve, you are going to end up regretting it. You may become sick. I know I was losing my sanity. I was not only getting physically sick, but I was getting emotionally unstable. Uh, I had suicidal thoughts at one point. It was really not going well. And if I consciously was thinking that I deserved external love, that I wanted to date again, forget it. I wasn't ready for anything because I wasn't even giving myself the time that I needed in order to find myself as a woman. So you may be doing that in your life. You may be putting aside any kind of relationship that you may have with individuals around you because you're not important enough. You don't deserve it enough. You That little bit of time and energy and effort that you can put, um, that you are able of of giving is not going to be given to yourself. You're going to put it all into giving to the others, to, to your loved ones, to your children. You're providing. So... Now is when this has to change. You need to understand that you are deserving of love and attention that you can give to yourself, even if it's a very limited resource, even if it's that precious and rare resource that you are trying to manage, you can take a piece of that and give it to yourself. You do deserve it. And you know what? You are going to be the better parent, the better caregiver as a result, because your children are going to see what's going on. They're going to see that you are healthier physically and emotionally. They are going to see how much better you will be able to provide for them because you are healthy, because you are well. And they will model after you. They will learn from you that indeed it is important to take care of themselves in order to better take care of others after, to contribute to their family, to their community, and to the world. So that's how important this is. And that's why this is so important for you if you are a parent, especially a single parent or a caregiver. 
So uh, I hope you take this advice and you start creating change in your life, okay? Love you. Bye-bye.